Hi, welcome to Okoy Amster. Today I'll be viewing this fixed kit anemometer, model TL-A1. This costs roughly $22 on Amazon. And for this one, before I go into more details on it, it's powered by a 20 CR2032 battery, button cell battery that came with the unit. It's right in here. Just remove this little outer protective bumper. It's right here. And it also came with a user manual. The user manual is pretty easy to follow. One more. I want to show briefly. It covers a wide variety of languages. Here's the functions for it. Operations. And here's the specifications for it. To measure in meters per second, feet per minute, knots, kilometers per hour, or miles per hour. And there's also a built-in temperature sensor, so I can switch between either measuring in Celsius or Fahrenheit. And just a couple of different modes for this too. Let's power this unit on. So currently I have it set to miles per hour. If I just press and hold this, I can change it between Celsius or Fahrenheit. If I press and hold the mode button here, I can enter the menu system. And there's this current measurement. I can also just measure just the, me the max. Have it take the average. Then there's meters per second, kilometers per hour feet per minute, knots, or miles per hour. So I'm just leave it at miles per hour. Typically I use this for, let's say I was flying a drone, I don't want to fly when it's windy outside, or if it's windy I just don't want to fly too high, I might lose it. But this can also be used for other things, for example if you're in sailing, boating, or even like for repairs like HVAC for example. The LCD is backlit, it's not very bright, so actually just press any button and the LCD backlight will come on for about 12 seconds and automatically extinguish. To turn the unit off, just press and hold the set button. Press that. It's off. So let me just turn it back on again and blow into the wind right over here. This is just for measuring temperature. The unit is very small, very portable. The wrist strap might be too small for most folks out there, but still, for $22, I do think this is a good device and I would recommend it. Well, thanks for watching this review. If you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching for Hamster. Bye.